All right, so now we're just going to go back over and refresh our memory on simplifying radicals. All right, uh, and the way that I teach this and the way that we will go over this in class is you will create a chart where we have x, where we have x cubed, uh, and maybe you'll go on to x fourth. For right now, we're only going to do a few numbers. We're going to make this a really, really short chart. You guys will make a little bit bigger one in class, um, but we're just going to keep it very simple. So we start with 2 for x, 3, 4, 5. Now, you'll normally keep going, um, and at least for x squared, you'll probably write up to 15. Um, but for us, we're only going to fill in a few numbers because it's all that we need. All right, so then we go into x squared, and then we square x. So this is 4, this is 9, this is 16, and this is 25. And same thing, you would keep going for any of the numbers that you wrote for x. And then we would cube them. So it would be 8, 27, 64, 125, and so on and so forth. Now we're not going to do x to the fourth, but you would just keep doing the same thing um, on your chart. Now, the reason why I like for you guys to do this chart is a lot of people have trouble with simplifying radicals. And this gives you every number that you possibly need to look for. All right, so let's do an example first. So here we're asked to simplify, or the directions would say, simplify the square root of 32. Um, so if you type this into your calculator, it will give you a decimal value. So we can't take this as a perfect square. Now, in order to simplify, we want to take as much out of the radical as we can. So since this is the square root and our index is 2, that means in our chart, we will only look at these x squared numbers. So these are the only numbers that we will look at. All right, so we're only going to focus on x squared. So then we look at all of these numbers and we ask ourselves, does this divide evenly into 32? All right, so 4 does. So check, we know that 4 divides evenly into 32. It goes into it 8 times. But then you should still look, all right, because if two numbers divide evenly into it, we need to take the larger number. So then 9 doesn't go into 32, but 16 does. 25 doesn't, so we know that no other number will divide evenly into 32. But since 4 and 16 both go into it, we're going to choose 16, the larger number. If you choose a smaller number, then you're going to have to keep simplifying. All right, now, the reason why we looked for these numbers is because I know that all of these are perfect squares, meaning that I can take the square root of 4, because I know it's 2. I can take the square root of 9, I know it's 3. I can take the square root of 16, because I know it's 4. I can take the square root of 25, because I know it's 5. So we're looking specifically for numbers that we can take the square root of. Right? We don't want to look for numbers that divide into 32 that aren't perfect squares because it does us no good. So we need to look for only these perfect squares. So what we do then is we will rewrite the square root of 32 as the square root of 16 times 2. Because we know 16 times 2 does equal 32. It's not changing its value. We're just rewriting it. And just like before, we can multiply our radicals together when our indexes are the same. Well, we can work in reverse. We can then separate these and look at these individually. So the square root of 16 times the square root of 2. Well, now the square root of 16 is 4, and we can't take the square root of 2, so it remains 4 times the square root of 2. All right? If you plug this into your calculator, you will get the same decimal value. But this 4 times the square root of 2 is this simplified form. All right, there's one more that we're going to go through, and that's it for this video. All right, now the last one we're going to simplify is the cubed root of 16. Now, this is the cubed root. It's not the square root. So we need to pay attention to that index. So in our chart, since it's the cubed root, we are going to look at our x cubes. And we're going to go down the order and say, do any of these divide evenly into 16? All right, so remember, we're only looking at the x cubes. We don't want to look at any other numbers because if another number divides into it that is not a perfect cube, then it does us no good. We can't do anything with that. 8 does go into 16. All right, so 8 goes into 16 two times. 27 doesn't, and they're too large, so they'll never go into it. So the only number that can divide evenly into 16 is 8. So we will rewrite this as 8 times 2. All right, so remember, 4 goes into 16, but 4 is not a perfect cube, so it does us no good. So we only want to look for the perfect cubes. All right, so we can rewrite this as a cubed root of 8 times 2. And then we can separate these and say the cubed root of 8 times the cubed root of 2. And then the cubed root of 8 is equal to 2. So it's 2 times the cubed root of 2, since we cannot take that and we can't do anything else with it. So if you were to type these in your calculators, it's the exact same value. All right, it's, just, it's our simplified form. So this is simplifying radicals. All right, that's it for the video.